This equal 20. Israel were slaves in Egypt, and Egypt represents the world. But they were called out of Egypt because God saw they wanted out, just as we were in this world and we wanted out. And so they were led through the Red Sea, and Paul says that that represented baptism into Jesus for us. And so their wilderness journeys become a picture of our lives after baptism. And you get some information here in Ezekiel 20 that you don't actually get in the record in Exodus. God says here, I said to them at that time, throw away your idols, because I am Yahweh, your God. But they rebelled against me and would not listen to me. They would not throw away nor forsake the idols of Egypt. This means that they went through the Red Sea carrying their favourite idols of Egypt. And later we read elsewhere that they walked through the wilderness carrying, yes, the tabernacle of Yahweh and also the tabernacle of their idols. So they did not throw away the idols of Egypt. Now, this of course becomes relevant to us because we have all got our favourite idols. It may be your kitchen, it may be that dream holiday house, that dream car, this or that or the other. And we are asked to throw them away. There is no middle course because you cannot serve God and idols. But there's something very wonderful here, that although they did carry the idols of Egypt through the Red Sea with them, God looked at them as if they were perfect. Because we're told it in Deuteronomy 32, God says about Israel, there was no strange God with Israel when they came out of Egypt. <laughs> yes, there were. But God didn't look at that. Love was not blind, but because he imputed righteousness to them, he didn't see that, as, as Balaam says about Israel of this time, that God did not behold iniquity in Jacob. He didn't see it, as it were. So, this is a great parade example of how love is not blind. God's love is not blind. He sees our idols. But his love for us is such that he sees us as if we don't have them. The response to that is accept it and throw those idols away. Be the person whom God hopes for you to be and whom in his love he counts you to be. Be in practice what you are by status.